Uh, hello, uh, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. It is uh, my pleasure to give a talk about the Chinese quantum satellite. Uh, named Mises. I am Chen Zhipeng. I come from University of Science and Technology of China. The satellite is developed by us, by USTC, and uh, several institutes from uh, Chinese, Academy, Chinese Academy of Science, like uh, uh, the Shanghai Institute uh, of Technical, Technical Physics, Shanghai Engineering Center of Micro of microstars, microstars, and the nano astronomy observation, and so on. So, um, uh, it is my first time to come to England and Cambridge University. In London, I visited the Westminster Church. I found the famous Dirac equation on the ground. It was exciting. When I wanted to take a photo with Sir Newton, somebody stopped me. No photo. So, <laughs> so fortunately, I come to Cambridge. Here I visit her and take a photo with Newton Institute and the Cavendish Library. To physics guys like me, uh, Cambridge means a holy place. It's the best land of the physics. Uh, in 1984, just in the year of Dirac's death, uh, Bennett and uh, Brassard presented the BB84 protocol. And this is the first year of the quantum cryptography, as well as the quantum communication. It is the most used uh, protocol of QKD. In 1981, uh, Elkart also gave a QKD protocol based on entanglement distribution. This entanglement with, besides the QKD, Quantum communication also includes like uh, entanglement distribution uh, uh, can test the uh, various inequality with longer and longer distance. When the entanglement uh, this, uh, photons are distributed, it can be used uh, to transport uh, quantum bits. This is quantum teleportation. Bennett and Bessard is also the father of the teleportation theory. Teleportation theory. So, uh, this uh, theoretical papers lead an uh, explosion of quantum communication study. A lot of QKD uh, entanglement distribution teleportation work appeared all over the world, both uh, both the, in the fiber, in the free space, pursuing longer and longer distance. Okay, let me uh, let me talk about our work. Uh, I come from a big group. Our group leader is Professor Jian Weipan. We have two main projects on long-distance quantum communication. One is the quantum science satellite. The other is the uh, national quantum communication backbone between Beijing and Shanghai. I am the uh, chief, si chief engineer of the quantum science satellite, and Professor Pan is the chief scientist of these two projects. We have many professors and uh, doctors. We all belong to the University of Science, of Science and Technology of China. Uh, about from 2003, we start our QKD experiment. During the past uh, 14 years, we have achieved a series of world uh, records in both, in both fiber and uh, free space. We realized the first 13 kilometer QKD uh, based uh, entanglement distribution in, in space, in, uh, in, sp in free space in 2005. And uh, when I was a student, I was young, and I had uh, all my hair black. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it's really. <laughs> then we re realized the uh, first uh, decoyed state QKD in fiber with the secure distance 100 kilometers in 2007, and extended to the 2,200 kilometers. Uh, we realized 100 kilometers QKD in free space, in free space, uh, about uh, uh, 2012. We also realized the free space QKD with moving platform to prove our technology. With the MDI QKD, uh, we extend the secure distance of QKD in fiber to 400 kilometers in last year. 
along with our works, we want to push our limit. How can we achieve a global QKD? We begin to think, it, think of it seriously. Uh, first of all, the fiber or free space. The China choice is not too hard because we know fiber quantum communication has its limit. Due to the attenuation, the second rate will reduce rapidly, rapidly with the length of the fiber. As the Professor Jizan said in his RMP paper, even we use 10 gigahertz perfect single photon source, if the fiber is 1,000 kilometers long, the time of getting one photon is about 300 years. A quantum repeat is also a solution. However, there are no good enough to use now. So we have only one choice. It is the free space, free space quantum communication with satellite. Since there is no L in outer space, which means no, absor no absorption to, of photons, it is possible to realize QKD beyond 1,000 kilometers. With the satellite relay, we can realize a global network easily. When we consider the satellite QKD, the first question is, which protocol we can use? Discrete or continuable var variables, single function source, or weak coherent source, or entanglement source, we don't know which one is the best protocol, but we need to make sure the satellite to us QKD must be safe, secure. This picture, this picture gave, uh, gives the relationship between the safe code, error rates, and channel loss. At the same noise level, a smaller channel loss means a more safe, more safe codes and a smaller error rate. To security of the to security of the satellite QKD, China loss and error rate are the most important. In many previous satellite Earth to laser communication experiments, the China loss, the typical China loss are usually 30 or to the, to the 60 dB. Under such China loss, a single photon source is of course can guarantee the security. However, current single photon source based on quantum dot and uh, and so on is too complicated. A weak coherent source is simple, but it can be attacked by particle number splitting. So the decoy state QKD protocol is a good choice. It can guarantee the security of QKD with weak coherent laser source. Its devices are also easier to set up to set up in the satellite. And the entanglement so entanglement photon source is a good choice too. Although the entanglement source is more complicated, it can, that, but it, it can realize, realize the QKD without trust relay. The second question is optical downlink better or uplink better? Downlink. Downlink, when we consider of the channel loss of the, and the error rate, in the case of the downlink, uh, we, we, can, we can make the ground station telescope up to big to reduce the channel loss, and the source in the satellite can reduce its noise. So maybe downlink seems better. Otherwise, uplink, uplink can make the ground station smaller. Someday, maybe we can put it on table, which will be convenient to users. Each of the two links could be a better choice uh, for the different tasks. So we plan to adopt both of two links in our satellite and the ground stations. You will see it later. The third question uh, is the coding method, polarization and time being. Uh, I think it is less fatal because the polarization and the time being can guarantee also, both can guarantee the security. Photon, the difference is uh, polarization, photon polarization is a passive mode. Uh, we need uh, alignment, uh, but we need alignment of the beam good, align, and keep the polarization right. 
since the satellite is rotating in the space. Time being mismethod is uh, uh, need active control, uh, but it is free for the polarization control, but it needs the interfer interferometer and sensitive to the environment. environment. At last, we adopt the polarization coding in the satellite. Uh, I, think, uh, I think the time being method can also work for the satellite QKD. We may do it in the future. Uh, when the scheme is completed, we have to face it to the engineering problem. Especially before we start the satellite project, we, might, we have to study the engineering feasibility. You know, a satellite, a satellite is moving fast and also has rotation and vibration. So we need aiming and tracking, beam collimation, divergence control, and good stability. At the very beginning, we don't have such technology in, this, in space. We try to uh, uh, collaborate with our European colleagues. Uh, they have the satellite tracing, tracking technology. However, uh, the United States forbidden their device to set up on the Chinese satellite, even in the science satellite. So uh, therefore, we <coughs> develop all technology by Chinese power. We developed the aiming, tracking, photon transmitting, telescope te technologies, and uh, all from zero. We use several methods to simulate the uh, satellite platform in order to test our technology. Uh, we use uh, a, 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 19, a 97 kilometers free space channel to simulate the satellite channel loss. We use trunk uh, to simulate the moving platform, use the blow balloon. Uh, simulated the flow floating platform, just the aircraft simulated the fast moving case. Uh, with that, uh, we successfully realized the 197 uh, kilometers QKD and uh, provide, uh, provide a good test of satellite quantum communication. Uh, we also did the quantum teleportation and the entanglement distribution about uh, 100 kilometers free space channel. Uh, we successfully realized the bare test and got fidelity of the six, uh, six states. After all of the simulating, simulating uh, experiments, we get the financial support, and the quantum satellite project is established in 2011. There are three scientific projects uh, project of the satellite. One is the uh, one is the Wang Dang Link. Wang Dang Link. We will realize the first uh, space to Earth QKD. Uh, two is the we will realize the two two Dang Link at the same time, and we realize the first uh, uh, space Earth entanglement distribution. And three, we will realize the uh, uplink uplink, and we want to realize the first uh, Earth to space quantum teleportation and maybe uh, quantum quantum key distribution. And then we begin to construct the satellite. Here is the setup of the satellite. We have two telescopes. We have two telescopes. Uh, in order to give both uh, sending and receiving function, we need one of them, one of the, them to have a bigger aperture uh, to the uh, 300 millimeter. If we uh, set both, if we set both of the telescopes rotating like this, rotating stage like this, the satellite will be complex and heavier. Therefore, we make the big, make the big telescope fixed with the satellite and point it to the ground station where it moving satellite, moving satellite. The other telescope is on the rotated rotating stage, moving by electronic motors. Uh, beside the telescope, we have an uh, entanglement source and uh, electronic modules and decoy states, decoy state source, and, uh, and so on. Uh, this picture is a light, light pass, shows the light, light pass for our payload uh, on this, in the satellite. With this payload, uh, we can realize the photon sending, receiving, uh, cyclo, cyclotron laser sending, receiving, as well as bacon laser sending, receiving. Uh, uh, let's uh, there, here is our ground station. To do this uh, satellite-based quantum communication experiment, we needed to establish an optical link between the satellite and the ground station. 
an optical uh, PLR the photons for the Xinlong, Xinlong and the Lijiang two station. Uh, the both of the two station have telescopes for astronomy, space, and the space target observation. We make some small change to the telescope and carry and carry out quantum communication experiments. Usually, we adding adding some adding a quantum receiver equipment to a telescope. These two telescope, these two station, these two station is another two station. The the left the left two is the Nanshan station nearby the Wulumuqi. The next is the Linha station. In these two stations, we designed and built a new telescope for our quantum satellite. These two telescopes can not only perform space quantum communication, but also laser communication and astronomy observation. And this is the Ali station located at the Taipei platform. Uh, this place is uh, the best observation condition in Asia. Uh, they have the best seeing in China about one arc second. It is 5,000 meters high above the sea, sea level. After construction of these five ground stations, we also performed an integrating test of the satellite payload and the ground station. We did the uh, downlink, downlink ex experiment in Delingha and the uplink experiment test in Ali. So this is our, this is our satellite uh, missus, named after a famous philosopher, uh, probably, probably the first scientist in Chinese history. Uh, in the beginning of last year, we completed we complete all the satellite and the ground station. It was successfully launched in August, on August last year. Missus is designed to work in some a uh, sun synchronous orbit uh, with 500 kilometers height. Uh, it can pass any place on the Earth in midnight of local time. Uh, the passing time is about eight minutes or six minutes for each ground station per day. After the satellite launching, we did many tests during the first six months. The first step is tracking test in order to complete an optical link between the satellite and the ground station. Uh, this is the image from the uh, course tracking camera and the fan tracking camera on the, in the payload. The tracking arrow is less than one micro read. <coughs> we also tested the two downlink channel between the satellite and the two ground stations at the same time. The two, the two optical transmitters on satellite are used. Satellite to Nanshan and Delingha, satellite to the ground, the Delingha and Lijiang have successfully established the optical, optical link and completed the tracking test. Finally, the satellite ground channel loss is one of the important components. Several effects several effect will contribute, contribute to the channel loss, including uh, beam diffraction, point error, uh, atmos atm atmospheric turbulence and ob absorption, and uh, like uh, uh, optical system efficiency. The beam diffraction man is mainly depend on the, the telescope uh, diameter. For the downlink, for the downlink, we for the downlink we by we setting we set the different tracking points on the satellite and tagging the corresponding receiving console on the Earth, we measured the divergence angle in orbit. The results show that uh, the divergence angle is uh, at, uh, 9 or to 10 micro rate at uh, 80, 800, 850 nanometer wavelengths. So um, here, the, here the channel loss. Uh, the left is the channel loss of one-way downlink for QKD. The channel loss changes the distance between the, with the distance between the satellite and the QKD, and uh, its loss is less about 40 dB. The right is uh, two downlink, uh, two two-way downlink uh, for the entanglement distribution. We achieved the uh, advantage of the channel loss uh, is below 70 dB. 
For the uplink test, uh, the atmospheric turbulence occurs at the beginning of the transmission path. The team divergence is about 40 micro rad on the telescope and grows to, um, to 20 or 30 micro rad after passing through the atmosphere. The total channel loss is about uh, is, less, is less than uh, 50 dB. Our experiments are all encoded with polarization. So we also did the polarization test. Uh, we can compensate the change of the polarization continuously because the, uh, you, the, 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 and we realize the 100, 100 to 1 polarization visibility. At the end of last year, we complete our testing phase and begin our experiments, uh, experiments, uh, science experiments. Here is our satellite to Earth, satellite to Earth QKD results. Uh, we can finally get 40,000 bit uh, quantum safe keys per second. It is 40 order faster than in optical fiber with the same distance. We can get about one megabit per orbit. When the beacon laser of the satellite works, the satellite becomes the brightest star in the sky. In very clear summer, summer, summer night, we can see, we can see the uh, a green spot crossing the Milky, the Milky Way by our naked eyes. It is very amazing. We have realized the satellite to ground the QKD in Xinlong, in Xinlong, Delinghan, Nanshan, and grass in Austria. In fact, we already have the ability to do QKD to any place in the Earth, on the Earth with one megabit quantum key one time. We keep the satellite running for QKD now. Uh, we, we, need, we need to make only small modification to make an uh, optical station be good for satellite QKD. So uh, if you have an optical station and it with telescopes and want to join a global network, just, uh, just contact us. Contact us. Uh, besides the QKD, we send uh, in tangled photons to the Linha and Lijiang ground station. Uh, we observed a violation of bare inequality, which means uh, quantum entanglement still in this, still in, in this over 1,000 kilometers, kilometers meter. Kilometer. Next, uh, next step, step, we plan to use the satellite entanglement distribution to realize the long distance QKD without trusted delay. In the uplink, we put a multi photon quantum entanglement source in our ground station. We demonstrate our quantum teleportation from the ground station to the satellite. Now, we have the ability to do the global, global network, global QKD. However, the ability is limited. Our misuse quantum satellite is a low orbit satellite. It moves faster, which makes, makes the experiment duration only six meters or per bit, per orbit. It can only cover uh, 1,000 1, kilometers range, and it has to work in night, and it, it also affected by the weather. Therefore, we need three solutions. Therefore, we need three solutions to break the limit. The first solution is the fiber network. Uh, we already, uh, which, which can connect the ground station, the ground station to the users. We already constructed the longest QKD fiber network in the world. Uh, it is the Beijing Shanghai Quantum Backbone net Network. Uh, the Beijing terminal already uh, connected with the Xinlong station. Now we have a lot of users in our fiber network, including one of the biggest bank. Uh, ICBC, biggest bank of the uh, in the world, uh, and uh, for the disaster com protecting, and one of the biggest uh, internet companies in the world, Alibaba, for the data security. The second solution is nano satellite constellation. We can develop many nano satellites to reduce the cost of quantum satellite. Low orbit satellite, low orbit satellite constellation can increase the QKD chance and the duration greatly. 
and we can construct cheaper ground station to make the satellite QKD more affordable to users. We made a compact device, a compact QKD system in Tiangong 2 Space Lab. It works well, and we believe uh, 50, about 50 kilo, kilogram nano satellite, and it was uh, maybe 2 million pounds is feasible. The, uh, the third solution is, de is to develop high, or high Earth orbit satellite, which can provide, uh, prov provide 24 hours service. In that case, the satellite has little, has little probability to, to work in, to be in the night, which means the shadow, the Earth shadow, the Earth shadow from the space view. Therefore, we needed to develop space quantum communication under the sunlight. This, uh, they will already, we already, we already uh, did a daytime QKD experiment on the ground. We use a telecom band, telecom band, uh, like a uh, 1,550 nanometer laser instead of the visible, 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 visible source. At the telecom band, the energy of the sun sunlight is one fourth the visible visible wavelength. Besides, the really science scattering rate is inverse the proportional to lambda to four. So. Uh, the telecom, the telecom band will reduce the noise uh, rapidly. We also develop a new type of photon detector, the up conversion detector. It can be, de it can detect the uh, telecom nano telecom band uh, single photons with high efficiency, and we can put it, take the take the de take the detector to the outside uh, to, the, to the wild. Mm. Uh, finally, we realized the 50, 53 kilometers QKD in daylight, which proves the feasibility of the high orbit quantum, quantum satellite. In near future, uh, I think the QKD and the laser quantum communication can be integrated, uh, integrated, integrated together, since they can pro propagate in both fiber and free space. Free space. Actually, we have already entangled, entangled laser communication terminal in both quantum satellite missiles and the Tiangong 2 uh, space lab. Our long-term goal is to build a, a global network with, quantum, with QKD and the laser communication integration. Uh, with many quantum satellites in the sky and wide aerial fiber network on the ground to achieve a worldwide quantum safe internet. We know uh, there, there are competitions from classical cryptography such as PQC. However, uh, if we can make the global communication much cheaper and much safer and more convenient to use, we can make it be a best choice for the future, for the future information security. Uh, that's all. Uh, thank you.